I'm Jen Davis. I'm the Aviation Operations Manager for the Northern Airports for the state of Vermont. And we're here today at the Northeast Kingdom International Airport, formerly Newport State Airport. The airport is actually founded 75 years ago. O.S. Soros, who was the mayor of Newport at the time, really enjoyed flying in airports in the initial, and he saw the potential of the airport. So he actually formed the committee way back. He was able to convince Senator Aiken, who was in Washington, and the governor at the time, to help find funding to help support the airport. They started just one building, a small space, kind of runway in a cornfield type of deal. From there, 75 years to today, a lot has changed here at the airport. In just small segments, it's made huge leaps in our pavement capacity, the number of aircraft we can get in, our ability to serve people with fuel and aircraft maintenance services. It's now very much a full facility. Anything that you can imagine that you would need for your aircraft or need for passengers coming in, they have it here in Newport. I own and operate Lakeview Aviation, which uh, provide flight instruction, aircraft rentals, the shop's always busy. We take care of 43 planes, and that's just a rough number. <laughs> My name's Jim Sullivan, and I'm a pilot here at EFK. I learned to fly here in 2003. So Lakeview Aviation provides the flight instruction here at Newport. Um, they've provided flight instruction here for many years and always have qualified flight instructors providing excellent flight instruction. You know, since I started, oh my God, I must have put, you know, 60, 70 pilots out of here. Newport is that kind of thing where if you learn to fly in Newport, this is kind of a class E, class G kind of feel of an airspace. So there's no operating tower, stuff like that. It gives us a little bit more freedom to, you know, practice some landings more often than not going through a tower. So getting your license here actually could be quicker and easier than it could be like in a class D or class C controlled airspace airport where you've got to wait and there's a times to release and things like that. So that's the nice part. At Lakeview, they have five different airplanes, so there's a variety of different things to learn in. You can start in a small Cessna 150 and do some training at a low cost, just you and your instructor. You can move up to a Cherokee 140 when you want to get some GPS and go on longer cross countries, and then they've got some more high performance airplanes as well. And uh, couldn't pick a better airport to learn at, to fly from. When I started Flying out of Newport about 15 years ago, it was a much smaller space. 2003 when I took over, there wasn't a lot available. It was like an old boys club back then. And there was only seven hangars on the field, and I think now we got 16. We've uh, extended the runway through a massive project in the past five years from 4,000 to 5,300, so that allows much larger aircraft. We've added a full parallel taxiway. We've also added a half a million dollar fuel farm with two 10,000 gallon fuel tanks to supply everyone the needed fuel. And we installed a snow removal equipment building to house all the equipment that we now need to take care of the additional pavement. Just having our runway lengthened probably made it a lot safer for a lot of other planes to get in here, uh, but to get fuel. Before the expansion, we were getting a lot of small charters, six to eight people airplanes, and now we're accommodating Globals, Gulf Streams, the much larger passenger jet aircraft, and now they're able to all come in during all sorts of weather conditions, plus we're able to get those much larger jets in that serve both the community here in Newport and also across the border in Canada. I get a lot of people from Canada that come flying in and out. We are a landing rights airport, which means that you could technically book a flight from Montreal to Northeast Kingdom International Airport and then fly on if you want. It's a quick hop across the border. Maybe somebody doesn't want to fly into Canada, you know, just because of restriction or whatever. They can fly here and then drive into Canada, so it makes that really good. It really provides a service to two countries which is something that a lot of the airports don't have the ability to do. With all the improvements here too in the last couple of years, it makes it a, a world-class airport. Newport is a special airport because it's part of the kingdom. You know, having a town on the lake, having this airport here. I look at it now as an economic driver for the area. We know that the regional economy has been suffering and this airport will play a vital role in the future of attracting businesses. Oh my God, I mean, we have land for business. If, they, if people want to build a business on the field itself, we could take a Dash 8s, Q400s, which is 75 passenger, 35 passenger planes. And we, we have the capability of doing that now. And the people in the kingdom, they always have your back. They're always there to, to help you with anything you need. And the community here at the airport 
in Newport is really special. It's a small town feel, um, but everybody wants to see just enough growth so we can, you know, have a happy balance between the two. Plus the scenery up here, it's amazing. Cornfields on one side, we've got South Bay. When you come into land on Runway 36, you've got all of Memphis Magog kind of opening up behind the city of Newport, and it's just, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's not just hunting and fishing, it's all the other recreational activities with the lake, the bike path. We just have so much to offer here in the whole Northeast Kingdom. Hi, Governor Phil Scott here, and it's my pleasure to wish a happy 75th anniversary to the Northeast Kingdom International Airport. As one of Vermont's most active state airports, it's served as an important hub for aircraft and commerce for Vermonters and to our friends to the north across the border. As a pilot myself, I know aviation is important to Vermont and will be instrumental as we work to grow our economy. I hope the NEK International will continue to expand over the many years to come. Again, congratulations on achieving this impressive milestone.